today we're talking about standing desks and more specifically the beauty behind a dynamic standing desk and why it's so beneficial for us. So when the movement began to move more into a standing desk than a sitting desk, it was to become more mobile throughout the day. The purpose of it wasn't to stand still for eight to 10 hours a day, it was to move more throughout the day and make movement more accessible to you. Because once you're sitting in a chair, it's quite easy to stay there for many hours on end. It's restful, it's comfortable, why move? Well, there's so much research now to show the detrimental effects of sitting um, and its responsibility towards increased risk of injuries, increased risk towards diseases. So it's a really great habit if you can start to utilize a dynamic standing desk, even just for short periods of the day, as opposed to trying to go the full eight to 10 hours of the day straight away. So when we are standing, we want to think about how we're standing. We don't just want to like dump our weight over onto one hip and stand like that for the whole day because we're going to end up with hip issues around that side and we're going to end up with all sorts of weakness and deficits throughout the body. So if you are going to stand, you want to be standing with your weight centered um, more on your heels than your toes, your hips stacked over your heels, your shoulders stacked over your hips over your heels and then your head and so forth, okay? So it's really common when people do have access to a desk or a bench that if they're there for long periods of time, they'll end up leaning their hips into it because it's an easier way to stand or they'll do the old hang on the hip job. So this is why I say rather than try to stand still, move dynamically. So I'm gonna go through a couple of different variations that I might utilize throughout the day at my standing desk. Um, feel free to have a go at these as well and see what suits you best. Again, I would encourage you to just incorporate small um, parts of the day when you are trying to integrate your standing desk. If you do try to go the full eight to 10 hours of your workday straight away, it is possible that you will fatigue. It's actually quite likely that you will fatigue and you might be like, oh, my legs are too sore, oh, my back's sore. Because it's a cardiovascular exercise and it's a load that your body isn't used to taking. So if you were to go from sitting all day to standing all day, it's a really big adjustment. So give yourself you know, a regular time. I'm gonna stand at morning tea, lunch and afternoon tea, or I'm gonna stand at three o'clock every afternoon when I start to get tired. So make it achievable. And, and just start with a 10, 20 minute window where you're playing with that standing tolerance and then over time you can increase it. So one of the first things I would encourage when you're at your standing desk is actually to get yourself a step or a book or um, a ream of paper, something, so that when you're standing at your desk you can put your foot up on something. So my desk has drawers, so if I wanted to I might just pop it up like that. Or if I'm standing, I might go into a wide straddle stance and work like that. I might go into like a lunge stance. I might balance on one leg. I might do car phrases. So all of those options are dynamic movements that you can try without any equipment needed at your desk. Now my favorite thing to use at my desk You'll see over in the corner, I've got heaps of different balance um, tools, is actually to stand on these at my desk. I find that the small twitching that my body needs to do, my muscles need to do, actually helps keep my brain active and I can get in the zone writing a book for like hours just standing on my foam roller. So I'll show you what that looks like. Now, don't be too scared because you still have your desk to hold on to, so it's not as scary as you think it is because you can be holding on whilst you're here, okay? So the foam roller is probably the thing that's utilized most by my clients. They kind of raise an eyebrow when I first suggest it, but then they actually come to find that it's actually really fun. So give it a go if you've got one. All right, There's, normally I'd be barefoot, I wouldn't have my sandals on, so standing at your desk. Now this little twitch that's going on here is quite good to keep the brain active while I'm working. You'll see my body's going to do all sorts of postural adjustments. Now, if I wasn't comfortable here, when I'm working at my desk, there's still a part of my balance that's taken away because I can hold on. Now, in this position, I might go feet together, I might go feet apart, I might go single foot, 
I might be in a little bit of a squat or I might just be dancing around to the music that I've got playing on in the background. It could also act as your one foot on. The other thing that I utilise really often is a balance beam. So I can use this one of two ways. I could have it parallel to the desk with my toes on it. And this is far more difficult. So this is something that I'd probably be on more if I'm rebooking clients or making phone calls because I don't need to concentrate as much as I would to say write a report. But again, if I need to, I've got the desk. And again, I could change positions. I could have different parts of my foot on the balance beam. I could have my feet turned out and my heels turned in. I could be in a squat position. So it's really, really versatile. Then the other one is to have it more like a balance beam with just a single foot on and working like that. I find this is quite fun as well. Or I'll have two foot on and I tend to end up doing some version of squats when I'm on two feet. So it might seem odd to be using balance things at your desk um, and it might seem really against the norm to be doing those things but when utilised in an office space it tends to create a movement where the person next to you wants to have a go and so forth because it is such a fun thing to do so I encourage you to have a go just for small portions of the day start small to get you into that dynamic standing position and then over time you can increase your um, standing tolerance to use it for more of the day if you're really struggling to move into that standing position or if you're someone who does struggle from injuries and at the moment you really can only just tolerate sitting, I encourage you to have a look at our video on our best ergonomic chair um, for some ideas that might help you start to unlock those hips. Have a good day.